Hello everyone, this is the Super Mario 63, I'm your host, the Super Genius, the Stupid Genius 55, and I kinda messed that intro up. What I'm trying to say is, hello, I'm the Stupid Genius 55, I'm your host, so let's play Super Mario 63. Why am I going over this way? I should be going over this way. Uh, let's see how Eddie's doing for a second, I guess. Now, um, I believe, sorry, yeah, over to the right is, have uh, we talked to this guy already? Um, I believe I have talked to him already. Yeah. Let's see if I've talked to this guy. Ooh. Hello, Mario. Aren't elevators so fun? I could ride this thing all day. For some yeah. reason, it seems to be lagging a little bit. Ooh. Okay, it's a bit weird. Um, yeah. Let's, yeah. Go, let's go see if Eddie has anything new to say. Eddie the Toad! <gasps> Hi, Mario. Wow, we've collected quite a few shine sprites. Yeah, I think I got my point across that the toads are pretty, uh, very hammy. I don't remember uh, Holly being here before. Yeah, this is the dialogue doesn't seem to be changing at the moment. This is still a level designer area. Can I go in this? No, no that's 16 star coin, I believe. Um. So I believe that the uh, we should be going down. I don't think there's really anyone else we can talk to right now, so let's go. Well, let's check this hallway to see if there's anything there. Just so I know, in my practice run, in my practice runs, I'm I don't tend to check the uh, the what the toads say. Uh, I usually wait till later. So let's go in this one. Is this shifting sandline or tidal? Yeah, not tidal. Something aisles. Um, this time we have one up here. Yeah, not going to give a star coin this time. Have you been to the Tidal Isles yet? It's a lovely place with beaches, waves, sunken treasure, and lots of tropical fish. Um, <laughs> yeah, let's see. Sounds like an awesome place. Uh, as you can see, there is no um, introductory screen, so this is one island. And uh, this is not Isles. This is one isle. One island, I mean. It's a Collect the Silver Stars mission. Um, I have no idea what he's doing. This Koopa here is doing. Up oh, I guess I can get him with the wave. Yeah, the wave that comes is the uh, the main gimmick of this level. So as you can see, I collected star, shining star number one. Now going down here, uh, you're gonna want to kill these enemies to get coins. And if we the second shines, uh, the silver star is located down here. Now let's go. Uh, if we go back up here. Uh, you're gonna need to ride the wave to get up to here. Oh, I didn't do it successfully. You don't actually have to ride the wave, you can just, you know... You can use these platforms, you can just jump up at the right place. Really, it's not... Uh, the wave is not really... It doesn't really affect much level, since half of it is underwater anyway. Not much is above water, so it's kind of... Kind of pointless, and... It can knock you off this cliff, actually. I don't know. Uh, maybe there's some purpose behind it. I'm going to have trouble seeing it. Uh, silver... Whoa, what's that about? Oh, okay. I thought it was... I thought that was a trick to try and uh, launch you off this little uh, hill up here, but nope. Now we can take a hover flood. And this is Silver Star number 3. The last two are located uh, underwater, so they're kind of the hardest, most painful to get to. There's also one star coin in here, which I'm about to show you. Um... These conveyor belts underwater can be kind of tricky, and here's here's how. And why is this thing getting so laggy? Oh my goodness! Uh, is this level just like not generally? Yeah, as you can see, this one can be kind of a pain. You generally have to do, and you also have to mind your, you know, uh, air heater. Let's see if. Okay, good. Most of the time, I'd be like, yes, save, 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 but since this is a Let's Play, you know. Chugga Conroy's educational, he taught me, he got me into that habit. And of course, getting the four silver stars is just a matter of using, of not getting hit by those conveyor belts. Now, up here. Oh boy. No, 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 better kill, uh, to get, to get air. Better kill. Wow, that sounds so great out of context. Oh, and you can actually press something. A, a big thing I forgot is that you can press down, too. Okay, this is not as hard as... 
I swear to God, it's not that hard. Come on, let's get that down. Now I'm getting hit by the wave. Okay, first when I say this level is not, you know, hard, difficult. Um, okay, good. So the trick is to go to the bottom right, then you'll get, uh... Yeah, these conveyor belts can help you back up. So, that is kind of... I guess you can say it's good level design, you know, that the conveyor belts impede your progress back down, but when you get back up, when you might, when you finish your challenge, you, you don't... It's unlikely that you'll accidentally die, or less likely. So there we have the single star and the single star coin of a single sh sh single shines bright and single star coin of the title Isles, or yeah, Isles. I'm gonna say in quotes that I'm gonna say that in quotes, considering that it's not really multiple Isles; it's just one. Yes, finally I see someone else in this castle other than me. Ever since Bowser attacked the castle, oh, he sealed, scared away all the toads. All but me and a few toads ran away. Hopefully now that you are starting to restore the Shine Sprites to the castle, some of the toads will come back. Uh, this is kind of a weird case of someone using the wrong form of your. Uh, to, no, wait. Uh, hold on. Sheeran Princess Peach secret passed away of secrets. Secretly use a tra secretly travel, secretly from room to room, and secret... Oh, secretistical secretism, yes. Secretism, the ideology. Princess Peach is a closet secretist, guys. Secretism. That opens up to us later. Down here we have uh, a bomb, ba bomb battlefield. I don't, I don't know why I came back down here. In fact, I was trying to use the hover flood specifically not to come back down here. And boy, we have an extra toad here. Yesterday I was bored, so I decided to buy that new Final Fantasy game. Fum de eight. That is the 2898th game. It's just oh oh okay never mind. He's using Roman numerals. I thought it was the Final Fantasy, meaning the last ever. It should really be final, but not really final, because we'll undoubtedly release more and more sequels, despite half the games released as spin-offs of other previous Final Fantasy titles, so that the number that represents the new game is so large that it even overtakes the normal letter name of that Final Fantasy in terms of length and number of characters' fantasy. Nonetheless, I'm still enjoying the game thoroughly, so I have no other complaints. Wow, um, Toad. That was a pretty <laughs> long-winded, you know, um, insult there. Yeah, uh, BM GM being such a Captain Obvious today. Um, so, here we have uh, the main attraction of my video today, Shifting Sandland. Uh, this version only has three star Shine Sprites and uh, three Star Coins, I believe. Yeah, three Star Coins. The Ancient Pyramid of Shifting Sandland is the bur burial site of Koopa Pharaoh Yu's Gonna Dat. Does that... that I'm, that's the first time I've ever read that description. That does not come into play at all in our little game. But here, uh, oh boy, I have to see what he has to say, don't I? <laughs> it's so hot here. I can barely stand it. Uh, man. Uh, shit. Uh, oh, I accidentally collected some of the red coins. Um, I'm not doing that mission yet, so... Now I'm trying to get up to here. Actually, not. I think I'll get use triple jump from like here. So one, two, or you only need two. So, is this the vanish cap or the? Yes, yeah, the vanish cap. Um, you're gonna want to go up here. This is this will be needed for the eight red coins mission. Uh, actually, so yeah, you don't need to worry about keeping the vanish cap for just getting through the level, but the eight red coins. Yes, you do. Now down here. Oh yeah, and you also need to get through here. Um, let's see what this guy has to say. Our excavational teams haven't yet dug up this temple structure here. However, the sand doesn't seem to be any normal sand. Yeah, you can. As you saw, I could go through it. Now I'll get that star coin in a sec, so don't scream at me. Um, now you're supposed to just go straight here, and to the right there's not anything. Well, oh, sorry, Koopa. I, I guess he killed. He hurt me because I ignored him, so I, I deserve that. But, to the right here. Wow, that, that okay, that's... The shell bumping the shy guy is actually kind of funny, in my opinion. Okay. But if we go back to... What? Uh, um, I... Okay, that's pretty irresponsible of me, but hey, it's a quicker... It's a quicker way of getting back to this area. Oh boy, the Goomba made me unable to do the triple jump. Oh my goodness. Or 
or double jump in this game. So. If you go up these platforms, probably should have just done this from the beginning, but hey, nobody's perfect. Therefore, that excuses anything I do. And, oh, okay, I, I'm getting a bit risky today. Um, let's go one, two, three, and let's go Sling Star. Okay, I don't know why I'm uh, being so bad at platforming here. Trust me, it's worth it, because we're going to get something very... Um, Okay. Now I'm gonna act very carefully here because I don't want to mess this up again. Not after, you know, all that. This is sort of the main uh, attraction of the level. Now let's get up here. This is the 15th star coin. The two star coins here are actually really um, kind of obvious where you get them. Now go make sure you land in this sling star. You want to do this. And now we have Flood. Now, uh, up here is the... I'm not able to show you, it seems, but here, uh, this is the third star, but it's her, the third shine sprite, excuse me, shining atop the ancient pyramid, but let's, so, um, that's the only mission I think I'm gonna do out of order, cause it, it come on, it's just so convenient to get it then, I'm, I just want, if you, if you weren't, in case you didn't notice, I was just trying to get flood, so yeah, the shine sprite glows brightly from top of the pyramid, but how do you how to get there? Well, I just showed you, so. Now let's go. Let's hope the Goomba doesn't impede my triple jump this time. Okay, it doesn't. Now, um. So now that I've all I've also shown I, I believe I've also shown you the sort of lower, you know, the ground of area of this level well enough. So let's stop um, messing about here and Let's get into the Sling Star. Um, that's not a launch star, these are Sling Stars, remember. For some reason, I, I, I get very anal attentive about that. Now, here's the main attraction. Uh, how many times have I said that in this video? I've literally not said that any t other time in this video, but I've literally never said that really ever before in a video, and now, this is the main attraction, people. This is, uh... I don't know what the purpose of these blocks are here. I mean, look, I, I can't quite... Oh, they're on their background. Okay. Sheesh, I'm acting really retarded right now. Um, oh, boy. I almost... And it almost got me killed. Okay. Uh, um, as you can see, that quicksand is... You know, remember, we always want to jump in that, right? Right? Yeah, as you can see, you can't exactly flood your way up there. You have to go... Well, I mean, maybe I could, but I'm not gonna. I, I want to show the normal way to get through everything, because that's what I do in my Let's Plays. Now, this is solid, so if you let this squish you, you will lose health. You won't die, though. You will lose some health. Oh, oh, there's a flood right here, in case... Okay, I guess I didn't really need to get the mine. Never mind! Sorry, uh, my memory of this level seems to be a bit skewed. Then again, the pyramid's kind of the low... I can't believe I called the main attraction before, and now I'm calling it, like, the least... Let me put it this way. It's the main attraction in the sense that it's, like, the thing that you're... The biggest thing that's intended to be here. But it's kind of the most boring part, in some ways. I know, the platform. Okay. Now, this is like the ice block maze. You just, uh, break some stuff. Except it's a bit easier to get through than that in Snowman's Land. Now? Wait a minute. Snowman's Land? No Man's Land? I just got the pun of the snowman land level. Okay, this is a very appropriate place to be reciting that. You have to break some blocks, but... Now, if you go up here, uh... As you can see, I can... The star is right over there if you want it. Uh, Shine Sprite, I mean. Wait a minute, I thought I could break the blocks here. Okay, no. Oh, never mind, this is how. You collect the 16 star coins. You win a special prize. Right of the level designer to pick it up. <laughs> Don't say. Um, okay, uh, let's go collect our shine sprite. Have I collected the third star coin of this level? I don't believe I have. Obviously, if you if you remember where it was, obviously you know you just need to use flood to get there. And I'm gonna be. I probably should have collected that third star coin earlier because. It, it, with the eight red coins, you don't actually need to go on top of the pyramid, so. But it, it's not too far out of the way. Uh, this Goomba keeps messing up my jumps here. Dang it. I, I can't believe I'm taking so long just to get to do the very simple task. 
Well, oh yeah, that's not that's not let's my last plays in a nutshell. So high up. Why did I even take that sling star? Um, yeah. Um, let's get down here. Yeah, this this one's a little bit nerve wracking here, but let's go. You're actually gonna wanna go back down, believe it or not, just to take the just get the vanish uh, star and then go right through here. And also, uh, um, you're gonna wanna collect some of the other uh, red coins on the ground, namely this one. And I believe, where's the one here? Um, yep, number five. That, if you didn't see, it was, like, right uh, under this pillar here that's in the foreground, so... Let's go back up there. Oh, but, okay, I don't know why I didn't do it, but okay. Alright, now, uh, we don't need the Vanish uh, Star for any longer. You also need to come up here to get your sixth one. And you're going to want to go up the platform for the seventh. While we're there, I might as well, you know, use Flood to get the final, to get the final star coin. Uh, as we climb up these, um, I guess I'll discuss my life. Um, summer school's been kind of eh, okay lately, you know. Let's, uh, take this up here. Um, let me tell you, though, it's actually been really kind of hot for me where I live, um... Uh, it's kind of might be weird to call Canada, you know, um, warm, but, well, um, uh, let me just put it this way. Canadian schools are not exactly built to stay cool in summer. Um, also, uh, I kind of find it funny that, um, it seems that in most places it's usually considered, summer school is generally considered something that's for, you know, uh, not to the less smarter people, but here, where I live, it's actually, uh, in the specific area I live, it seems that it's kind of the opposite. Uh, you're expected to go to summer school if you're one of the more part of the sort of intellectual elite, I guess I'll call it, of sort of the student body. Yeah, that's uh, the one who's expected to go summer school where I live, funnily enough. Um, I was so surprised, like, uh, Every, what, like, uh, at the end of, like, last year or, or so, um, when I was, uh, in my first year of high school, that everybody was, like, uh, 15, sh you have 15 shine sprites, but have you got, gone back and earned more stars in the previous courses yet? This is meant, this message is meant for, for, if you've, like, uh, got, the door to Bowser's, uh, sort of area, is only costs eight star, star uh, shine sprites to enter, so it's ex this message is for if you went there and you didn't come back to one of these levels here. We've basically gotten everything we could down uh, in sort of the main hall, I believe. Let me just check. And also, this guy's running. Was he here before? Let's talk to him again. Uh. Oh no. I was told to deliver this letter to General Pepper, Commander in Chief of the Cornerian Defense Forces. But I have no idea where a corner, wh what a corneria is. My only hint was to do a barrel roll. What does that mean? To be, you know what? It's official. These toads should be in an official like game. I mean, sorry, like the toads of this caliber should have existed in a uh, regular, you know, the Nintendo's actual games. Actually, this is not the right time where I'm going. I'm going up here as in sort of my last area of the game. The last area that I'm going to do for this episode. This is one of the secret stars, uh, Secret of the Mushroom. It's just like that uh, area where you have to look up in the regular Mario 64. Anyway, I was saying that I was kind of surprised how, like, everybody I knew at my school was going to summer school. Like, not just, yeah, pretty much everyone I knew, including, like, friends, family, they were all going to summer school at year, so I was so su surprised. I felt so lazy just sitting at home, almost, just not going to summer school at year. Whoa! The secret of the mushroom is full of one-up mushrooms. Can you find them all? Pokey shroom. Gotta catch them all, Pokey shroom. Uh, ultimate. Well, maybe Ultimate Pikachu fan one would have liked that. He is. He likes the themes. I don't know what it is about the original Pokemon, you know, show, themes on the show. And keep in mind, um, I have a, a lot of Pokemon content on this channel, but I've never really been that hu big a fan of the anime. I used to watch the Diamond and Pearl anime when I was younger, but uh, not much else other than that. Am I gonna die here? No? Okay. You can just follow this thing here to get the other one up. Whoa! Never mind. I ducked and... Yeah, this thing you're not gonna... You're gonna want to not do. Okay. I guess ducking was the wrong choice. 
Starcoin. I believe this uh, star coins up here. There's a star coin in this course as well. Um, hold on. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, that was a bad idea on my part, I must admit. But yeah, for some reason, I really hate the opening themes onto the original Pokemon, sh uh, like anime. Um, I've been producing a lot of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon content, which is well, that's a spin-off game. It's not really the main series, but. Um, uh, so yeah, sorry if I've never been much in the anime. Ultimate Pikachu Fan 1 is big time, especially the best wishes. Uh, maybe not especially, but yeah, partially the best wishes saga. Easy path. Um, which, hey guys, let's go on the easy path! Huh, I think this one has the star coin, actually. Uh, no, 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 it's definitely the hard path. Okay. Sheesh, why am I not remembering this so well? Um, uh, this one says hard path, I remember. And... I'm very certain. No, wait, you know what? Neither of them... Oh, never mind. I was about to say neither of them had the star coin, and it's right there. Uh, let's go up here. Let's hope the platform here gets us... Man, Flood! You know, I realize that would be so much harder if I didn't have Flood. Flood is so broken in this game. Uh, but the controls aren't really that great, so... To be honest, I would have rather had great controls than have Flood, which is kind of, you know, broken. Uh, I guess I'll just go down the, uh... I'll jump down and go up the easy path, just to... So as you can see, the main benefit to using the hard path is that you get the star coin, but not, it's not that hard, really. Or as they're called, star medals now. Um, uh, which is kind of weird. As this new Super Mario, Su new Super Mario Brothers 2. As of that one, I believe. Now, you can get two one-ups here, but you actually... Wait, why'd I go back up there with... Wait, why did I go up this way again when I actually didn't need to? Oh, I actually... Hold on, I, I came up here uh, just to use the easy path when I actually didn't need to. Like, I could have just come back up the hard path after I did a ground pound. Okay, um... Let's... And I'm not even going to bother trying to collect these coins. It's not really going to give me much, and it's just... Hopeless endeavor. Hopeless endeavor. Um, why did I just repeat exactly what I said verbatim? Whoa! I have no. I have, I have no water left. Okay. Um, I'm gonna have to do this floodless. Okay. I guess that shows what happens when I get uh very when I uh, am not careful with my water meter. Yeah. Um, your. You know what? To be honest, your water meter is not that hard to. You know. Um. I'm just gonna go back to get flood again. I don't get flood again. Um, screw it. I'm taking the easy path, guys. Um, no, 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 not without flood. Dang, that water meter. I've never really paid attention to the water meter because for me it almost never ran out. But oh gracious, goodness, godness. And no, 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 I'm not falling. Okay, I think I'm clearly doing a lot worse than I should be, but I'm gonna get flood back, and it's all gonna be worth it, right? Blood regenerates talent at the bottom here, but... Um, this thing is... Um, okay, I very c much could have died. So I'm getting a ton of chances to die here, and it only happened a couple times. Uh, I am getting really lucky. Now, let's... Okay. I just I said as I was lucky, there's a wasp in my room, maybe. I don't know. I think there might be. Hope not. Uh, and I really hate wasps, for those of you who don't know. I really hate him. Hate him so go, uh, so much. Oh my goodness. I don't see it, but I could have sworn I saw one. Okay, and I don't really know how much that has released to the viewer, but... Gee, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, let's ground pound and get our star, and we can't get those coins. That was a surprisingly large amount of trouble for that one shine sprite. Okay, um, it seems we have actually one more toad down there. Let's see what he has to say. Uh, one, an extra one. Guy, he's running. Alright, Oh, this is one from upstairs? Okay. Sorry, false alarm. Goodbye, everyone. 